All right, so what you want to do is go to your drive and download the PDF. So I have it checked here. I could also right click on it, hit download, and then it should download to your computer and put it on the desktop for now. And then once you do download that file, um, if you do go to PDF Escape, you can um, go ahead if you're registered or not. I can upload that PDF to Escape. So I'll choose that file for my downloads. And upload that to PDF Escape. And once it's loaded up, then I can start, you know, annotating it, doing whatever I need to do. Add some text boxes, blah, blah, blah. And then once I'm done, I can hit this green button over here to download the PDF again. It's a little clumsy. I'll call it version 3 because I played with it earlier. And basically now it's downloaded to your desktop, so now you have to go back to Google Drive and then go ahead and click Upload Your Files and then find that annotated version. And it's asking if I want to convert it to a Google Doc, which I don't. I just want to keep it as a PDF. I'm assuming you want to share this with your students. And there it is there, and now you can click and drag on it to whatever folder you need to. Go to Google Classroom and send it out, or Apara and send it out, because now it's in your Google Drive, or to share it to a particular person. The other way you could do this is in the Connect More apps, the one that I've used before, and there are several if you search for PDF in here. I haven't had time to play with all of them, um, so I'm not ex exactly sure which one might work best. I've heard of Notable. Um, it looks like you have some good reviews there. PDF Zen is the one I've been using. Um, so there's plenty more here too. I think there's one I annotate in here too. I've heard good things about. So you might want to experiment. Maybe it makes the workflow a little bit easier for you. Um, PDF Zen uh, is connected, it says. So what I can do then is once I do connect it, I can right click on that file and hit open with. And then it says PDF Zen. So that prevents me from adding download it and then upload it into PDF Escape. So that's one um, area that PDF Zen could help you out with versus PDF Escape. So it'll open that PDF directly in the editor. Uh, this is in beta, so it doesn't make any promises on how well it works. I've used it several times really just to fill out simple forms and then print them out rather than printing things out by hand. So you can see the toolbars across the top. I have my text toolbar. I click somewhere, it allows me to type. I can change the size. I can annotate things too as well. What I've noticed with the text box though sometimes is when you click, and if you try to move it, sometimes it actually just disappears on you and you have to redo the text box. So try to place it well in your first time. You have a highlighter, a commenting tool. And then the, the thing that it is in beta, the problem is it doesn't map back to your Google Drive. So you'd actually have to download this PDF file as a PDF hit save and then go back to Google Drive and go through the upload process. So really only PDF saves you is the fact that you can open it up in one click rather than downloading. But like I said, there's some more out there. I've heard some good stuff about I annotate. I just haven't, like I said, had time to figure it out. I believe it's I annotate. Maybe not, but I've heard about Notable too as well. Um, so you might want to check out to see maybe this works better in the fact that you, know, you don't have to go through so many processes of saving it locally and uploading it to Google, your Google Drive. All right, hopefully that helps you out. Um, if not, let us know. Thanks.